What is up guys and welcome to another edition of Market Marauders. We in the market one trade at a time. If you're new to Market Marauders, investment channel helps you to find the best deals in the market. Welcome. So, yes, you heard the title right. Yes, that is correct. Um, so, you may be saying, how did I do it? How have I pulled it off? So, I will explain um, that in this video. So, basically, uh, giving some background, uh, I wanted to make a portfolio that could basically pay me every single week or multiple times during the month, uh, some way to subsidize my income. Um, did a whole bunch of research on it. Um, and if you're interested, I will link the portfolio down below. So if you want to start uh, investing in it, um, you will have to, you know, take all the legwork out of there for you uh, and just go uh, and download this uh, M1 Finance, which is what I'm using. And then you can go and get your own portfolio yourself. So once you download M1, uh, you can click the link for the shared portfolio and then you'll have the portfolio itself and all you have to do is fund it. So uh, with that out the way, see how I started making it? That is going to be using dividends. Uh, so for those who are new uh, to investing, uh, dividends is basically um, a way where you can subsidize your income, a way to find passive income, and to get all of those paychecks per month. So, key takeaways for a dividend. Uh, this is on Investopedia. They have a lot of great information uh, for stocks. Um, and if you don't know, you know, different things that are going on, whether it's from mergers, earnings, uh, anything really stock related, the SEC, their filings, all those different terminologies that you may hear um, on, you know, Squawk box or things of that nature. Uh, you can go and look the terms up on Investopedia, and nine times out of ten, they will know exactly what you're talking about, uh, and have a video explaining it as well. Uh, so, some key takeaways on what dividends are: uh, dividend is a distribution of some of the company's earnings uh, to a class of shareholders, which is me. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's determined by the company's board of directors. Uh, dividends are payments made by publicly listed companies as a reward. Uh, to investors for putting their money into the venture. Uh, announcement of dividend payouts are generally accompanied by a portional increase uh, or proportional increase or decrease in the company's stock price. So dividends are great. It's a great way for you to grow your portfolio, um, you know, just sit it and forget it, which I know everybody would love to do. Uh, so I further ado, let's jump to the portfolio. Uh, so this is my M1 portfolio. So I only got, you know, $5,461.96 at the time of this video, uh, but my return is 28.39%, uh, which to me is pretty good. Uh, if you're not familiar with what M1 is, um, it's an investing platform uh, just like Robinhood or Webull or Fidelity or all the other ones out there. Uh, but what I like about M1 is you can buy partial shares of stocks um, and grow your account that way. Uh, so let's break down this portfolio, uh, which I'll have linked in the in the description down below. Uh, so first, I have telecommunications. Uh, so let me jump into the telecommunications side. Uh, we see that I have um, AT and T, General Electric, uh, Ericsson, Qualcomm, uh, Nokia, Corning, uh, Broadcom, Apple, Marvel, uh, Skyworks. Uh, so let's go back. Uh, if we go into, I have a 25 plus year gainers and S&P 500 aristocrats. Uh, so let's go into that section. Uh, that's going to be Caterpillar, uh, Lowe's, ADM uh, for Archer Daniels, uh, Midland Company, uh, Emerson, Nucor Corp, Raytheon, uh, AppVine, and Cardinal Health. Uh, so let's go back. Got the dogs of the Dow. Uh, so if you're not familiar with any of these terminologies, you can just go look them up, dividend aristocrats. Um, I have a video talking about dividends um, and a small course that goes over this exact portfolio, um, which you can check on my video playlist. Um, so Coca-Cola, uh, ExxonMobil, JP Morgan, Verizon, Pfizer, Cisco, IBM, uh, Chevron. And you may be saying, man, why do you have so many dividend stocks? Because I want to diversify uh, my portfolio um, and extremely diversify it. So, you know, you may see some repeats on here, uh, but that's okay. Investing is investing, you know, and there are not that many repeats on here. So, uh, going to 3M, uh, we have 3M, Centis, uh, Albemarle Corp, uh, PPG, 
uh, air products and chemicals like in Pratt, P&G, uh, Abbott Laboratories, Hormel Food, Abvine Incorporated, Cardinal Health again, uh, Becton Dixon, uh, and Walgreens. So, you know, household names, these aren't, you know, extraordinarily different names. Uh, if we go to the Aristocrat and Top 10 section, I uh, got Walmart, Colgate, Clorox, uh, Kimberly Clark, Meekson Corporation, Aflac, Johnson & Johnson, and CVS Health. Then we go to uh, Avid Ultra Aggressive. So if you want to just do the Ultra Aggressive section just itself, um, when you start M1, if you make an M1 uh, section, uh, Ultra Aggressive is like one of the ones that you can choose from. So I added it as part of my pie, um, which are just these large um, ETFs. Um, so these ETFs actually um, have a lot of different stocks in them. So you may be saying, you know, that's kind of, overkill to have a bunch of stocks that you pick on your own and then have an ETF with a whole bunch of stocks in it. No, it's not overkill. Um, to me, this is what I call my base or this is kind of the floor, even though it's not, you know, funded, you know, too highly um, as, well, as well as weighted in my portfolio. I think it's uh, kind of a good foundation uh, for your portfolio. So, you know, if all hell breaks loose, you know, dump money directly into this because uh, these are, you know, People have their 401ks or, you know, if you sign up for a 401k with your company, you're going to look at comp at stocks or ETFs that are like this. So you're going to see VU or you're going to see VEA or VB or VO or VWO. These are things you're going to see uh, when they ask you to choose, uh, you know, uh, the fund that you want to basically choose for um, your 401k. So these what I'll call my basis uh, for the portfolio. So this is you know, the foundation. So portfolio basically is like a house, in my opinion. So that's the way I treated it. Uh, so going back, we got monthly dividends. So these are companies that pay monthly. Uh, we got Realty Income, Gladstone Corporation, Suns, uh, which is Solar Capital, Solar Senior Capital, uh, Whitestone REIT. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the REIT, it's a real estate uh, investment trust. So all these companies pay monthly. Um, Capita Finance Corporation, uh, SCM, uh, which is Stella's Capital, uh, Shaw Communications Incorporated, Gladstone Commercial Corporation, Gladstone Land Corporation, AG&C uh, Investment, Prospect Capital, Main Street Capital, LTC Properties, and EPR Properties. So why do I have a monthly section in here? Because I want to use the monthly portion to grow the rest of it. So if all else fails, I will have money that comes in every single month. Uh, for this portfolio, which you'll see uh, when I break down uh, the actual distribution uh, of the funds. So next we have growth. Uh, these stocks actually do not pay dividends except for Apple. Uh, so these are just growth stocks, uh, stocks that, you know, every every YouTube channel you see in finance will talk about one of these four stocks. I mean, there are whole YouTube channels that talk about Tesla. They're, you know, Every product reviewer is reviewing the latest iPhone, and everyone's talking about Jeff Bezos. That's basically been all of 2020. Um, started off by everyone talking about Bill Gates, which is Microsoft. Um, you know, these top, these four companies, you know, have been the source of majority of the news for 2020 in one way or another. You know, starting off with Jeff Bezos making ridiculous amounts of money, Bill Gates, you know, talking about a vaccine. Apple with their iPhone release and Tesla with battery day and all the developments that they had this <laughs> I should change the name of this to 2020 fund <laughs> so that's basically why I have them on here because I think these are going to continue to grow forever now going to the next one we got entertainment and travel so this is the sector that was hit the hardest um, if you see I haven't put too much money into them uh, but I definitely think it was you know they're going to recover at some point in time. Uh, so we got Royal Caribbean, Carnival Cruise, American Airlines, Delta Airlines, and Southwest Airlines. Um, you know, some people may say this is a speculative play that they'll never be the same. I don't think planes are ever going to go away. So, you know, or Carnival Cruise ships. You know, if the ships are converted into, you know, just giant vessels for carrying oil, they will still be ships and they still will be available. So, you know, whether it's a year, two years, 10 years down the line for these industries to recover, who knows, uh, but I think they will eventually will recover um, and you'll benefit from having them in your portfolio and buying them for cheap. So next we got REITs, which is the real estate uh, 
uh, Income Trust. Uh, and then we have IIPR, Innovative Industrial Properties, uh, which is a very interesting company. It is actually a cannabis company, uh, so look it up. Um, but they do pay monthly. Uh, we got Equinix, Crown Castle International, Digital Realty Trust, Stag, uh, Ventus, American Tower, uh, Cyrus One, Alexandria Real Estate, uh, Equities, and Gladstone Land Corporation. Uh, so going to the last one, we got fast food, uh, which, you know, is more realistic because everybody eats out. I mean, even during the pandemic, people eat out. So, you know, you got to have some of those in there. McDonald's, uh, Darden Restaurants, uh, Restaurant Brands. So this is the company that owns Burger King and Popeye's. I think this is the company that uh, has Olive Garden and some other uh, good restaurants that are, you know, kind of struggling at the current moment. But some of them are opening back up. Starbucks, everybody knows that. Yum Brands, which is responsible for KFC, Taco Bell. Uh, so those two. Uh, and Domino's Pizza. And Domino's Pizza, to me, is the world's largest uh, del pizza delivery chain. So had to add that on there because everyone loves pizza. Um, if, you know, you were just choosing three, I would say, you know, Domino's Pizza, Starbucks, and McDonald's would be the three um, that I would choose uh, if you're just adding three to your portfolio. But what does that all uh, amount to, you may be saying? Uh, so going into activity in here, uh, if I go and do activity type just by dividends only, uh, let's start with the month of September. So going all the way back to September, we can see, uh, so September 1st, uh, there were three different payouts. Uh, so we had Aflac, uh, which was 51 cents, Pfizer, uh, which is $1.01, and, uh, and then Skyworks, which is 24 cents. Uh, the very next day uh, was Suns that paid uh, 14 cents. Uh, then the next week we have two Johnson and Johnson that paid 46 cents, uh, Walmart that paid 39 cents, um, and Archer uh, Daniels Midland uh, that paid 81 cents. Uh, so then uh, going into the day after that, we have uh, AG and C which paid 17 cents, uh, CVX which is Chevron. Uh, that put that paid a dollar twenty five. Uh, going into the next one, uh, starting with the tenth, uh, we have Emerson Electric that paid seventy nine cents. Exxon Mobil paid a dollar ninety. IBM that paid a dollar nineteen. Microsoft which paid fourteen cents. Um, Raytheon which paid sixty eight cents. Uh, WSR which paid nine cents. Uh, so that's all on the tenth. So then the next day after that, uh, we got paid. Uh, 23 cents uh, and then 42 cents uh, from Walgreens. So the 23 cents was from PPG. Yum Brand, which is Taco Bell KFC, uh, paid 5 cents. And then the next week after that, we had 3M, which paid 85 cents. Uh, then the day after that one, we had 3, which was Main Street Capital, McDonald's, um, and O, uh, Realty Income. And O paid six cents, McDonald's paid 39 cents, and Maine paid 10 cents. So then going to the 17th, so two days after that, uh, you got PSEC, which paid three different times uh, five cents, seven cents, and six cents. And then the week after that, uh, we have uh, EQIX, which paid four cents. The day after EQX paid, you got Qualcomm that paid 45 cents, uh, VEA, which paid 72 cents. Uh, and then going back to the 24th, uh, 24th VWO, um, which actually paid 28 cents as well. Uh, SJR, which paid seven cents. Uh, they took away one cent. That's not uncommon. Uh, sometimes they pay you different values or they pay you over. Uh, so, you know, having one cent deducted, that's not that big a deal. Uh, Gladstone uh, on the 30th. So the day after SJR paid, uh, paid 18 cents. Uh, on the 30th, there were quite a bit of payments, so let's go through all of them. We got Glad, Gain paid 16, Land paid uh, 13, uh, BDX paid 12, AVGO or Broadcom paid 65 cents, Cornyn paid 14, 46 cents, CCI paid 16 cents, DLR paid 16 cents, Domino's paid 2 cents, Good paid 14 cents, LTC paid 9 cents. Uh, SEM paid 55 cents. VNQ paid 18 cents. 
VO paid 14 cents and VB paid 18 cents. So look at all of those just from September 30th alone. Now imagine if there was more money actually invested in there. You know, I'm broke at the current moment, so I can't invest more money than this uh, at this rate. Uh, but hopefully, you know, I'll be able to put some more money in here uh, as time goes on and grow this so that these amounts can grow. Uh, but I do reinvest the dividends. So, you know, that's another way that you can grow uh, your money faster. Uh, so let's just go and start with October. Uh, we got October 1st. You got Coca-Cola, 86 cents. You got ALB, which is 24 cents. Um, and then you got uh, Mixon, 21 cents. You got... Kimberly Clark on the second. Uh, so the second, there's quite a bit on here as well. So KMB, 54 cents. Uh, QSR uh, deducted two cents, but took out uh, 10 cents. So I would say that's eight cents. Um, Suns paid again. Uh, that's 15 cents. Uh, VOO, 49 cents. AGNC, 17 cents. Uh, Cone, 14 cents. VTR, which is Ventus, uh, paid 24 cents on the 13th. Uh, on the 15th, uh, there were quite a bit as well. Uh, so we got Cardinal Health, which is 16 cents. Uh, you got uh, Erickson on the 15th, which was uh, 46 cents. It looked like they took out 14 cents. Uh, so what is that? 32 cents uh, dividend. And then IIPR, which very interesting company. I would say look them up. Uh, paid 22 cents. Leg and Pratt, 48 cents on the 15th. Uh, main 12 cents, O 6 cents, stag 8 cents, uh, WSR 12 cents, and then AMT the 16th paid 10 cents. So I'll link this portfolio down below. Uh, but if you see, you know, you get all those payments and it's just continuous, it just keeps coming and keeps coming and keeps coming and keeps coming. So the more money you invest and reinvest, you know, the faster you can grow. And you can see just compound interest wise how that will continue to grow if you don't use it. Now, me, I have a regiment. I literally just put in $100 every single, uh, every two weeks into this account uh, with the goal to grow it to even more. But I will share this portfolio uh, with everybody. I'll do the share pie situation uh, and I'll share it with everyone so that you can start this journey of investing. Uh, so good luck to everybody out there trading. Hope everybody's able to lock in profits. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,